This is the second part that we're making from a multi-view drawing. And this is the drawing. We have the front, top, side, and isometric. To start this drawing off, I'd like to start with this rectangle. This is on the front view, so we're just going to start here. And then after that, we'll add this square piece, then we'll add this rectangular piece, then we'll cut away this circle. To start, I'll make a new part. And so now I have my, my grid paper, I'm in sketch mode, and I can start drawing the front. According to the plan, this rectangle is shown here in the front view. If we look at it, we see that it's four inches wide, and we see that the whole shape is two inches tall, but just that front rectangle is here, and that's just one inch tall. So the rectangle we have to draw is four by one. Going back to Inventor, I'm going to go up to the Rectangle tool, and click on the origin, move my mouse, click again, and make a rectangle. I'll dimension the top line to be four inches. and I'll dimension this left vertical line to be one inch. So we've got a rectangle that's four inches wide, one inch tall. That's all we need right now because we're going to finish the sketch and we're going to get ready to extrude it backwards. If we look at the plan We just drew this rectangle, and we have to extrude it back, front to back, to here. If we look at our plan now on the top view, we see the front to the back, that's going to be four inches. So we're going to extrude, we're going to make that four inches, and hit OK. Now you should see that we have the base for this and now we just have to do these three last things add the square part, add this rectangle part, cut away the circle so first thing we're gonna look at this square over here on the top view we can see that one side of the square is two inches but it doesn't say the other side so we'll look at a different view on the front it shows that it's two inches going this way so we know that it's square two inches by two inches from the very corner to the middle. In Inventor, we can't draw anything until we get a new sketch. So I'm going to click New Sketch, click on the top, get my rectangle tool, and right when it turns green, I'll click at the intersection, go towards the middle, until it snaps at two inches by two inches and click again. Because I know that's exactly two by two I don't have to dimension it. I'll finish the sketch. I'll extrude that shape up. But that's way too far. It's still set for four and we don't need to go four. The plan says that this goes from one inch up to two. So we have to go one more inch to get it to go from the top of this to the very top, from, from one inch to two. So we say you only need to go one inch. Okay. So, so far, we've got the bottom part, we've got the square. Now for the rectangle. 
we know that it goes from the other corner one inch wide so it's going to go right to the middle of that edge if we use our midpoint trick again we don't have to dimension that either we'll go to create sketch put the sketch on top go to rectangle click that corner and carefully get it so that it snaps at the midpoint it'll say it's exactly one inch it turns green I'll click and now I don't have to dimension that because I know it's exactly where I need it to be from the corner to halfway down the side of that square I'll hit finish sketch extrude this shape and now that, that doesn't look exactly right we have to change that this plan says that from the from the base that part only goes up a half an inch goes up half as high as the square part so we're going to change this to 0.5 half an inch that looks a lot better so we'll hit OK one more step left last step is to get this hole so looking here at the top view we see where the circle is that circle is going to have a diameter of one inch it's going to be 1.25 inches from each edge at this bottom right corner so how do we do that last time we're going to create a new sketch on top of this base for this one I think we should look at the top view so I'm going to click top that'll make it a bit easier I'm going to click our circle tool and it doesn't really matter where we put the circle or exactly how big it is because once it's there we're going to click dimension we're going to make it one inch and then we're going to dimension from the center point of the circle to this bottom edge bring that dimension over to the side and change it to 1.25 kind of the same thing on the other side click the edge click the center point of the circle bring that dimension down and change it to 1.25 so yours should look like this one inch diameter circle from the edge to the center point is 1.25 from this edge to the center point is 1.25 once you have that you can finish the sketch you can go back to the home view and we're going to extrude again we're going to click what we want to extrude it's the circle but we're not coming up this time we're going to cut so we have to hit this button make sure that it's cutting also right now it's set for 0.5 inches which is only going to go through about half of the shape we need it to go through further at least one inch because that's one inch thick so if I put in one inch here you'll see it should go all the way through it could be more than one inch it really doesn't matter it could be five inches because it's just going to cut into open space so as long as you're getting down through it, one inch, five inches, a hundred inches, just get through the part, hit OK, and now you have the hole through it. We can go back to home view, we can do the last step of changing the material. I'll set mine to copper, new and polished, and there we go. Finished multi-view example 2 ready to be turned in